poem I recited yesterday is called Gasoline Dreams. It acknowledges my ancestry, but it, it also acknowledges um, a broader kind of perspective of what has inspired me to become who I am. And I wrote it really at a time in my life when it, it was, you know, it was difficult. It was a difficult time and I, I, I needed guidance. And I started writing these things that really impacted me, um, different kinds of things that happened in the world and different things I've seen. And actually, when I first wrote the poem, it, it started off as the first line was, I've never felt the boiling heat in Belize where my father cut sugarcane like an African slave. And I think three years later, um, I, find, I, had, I had saved up money and I got a chance to take my dad, myself, my brother, and my partner to Belize to visit the land, to, to visit my family, and to get in touch with my ancestry, but also um, work with young people out there. Arturo is someone who has roots in the activist community and also in the rap and hip hop community. And that poem to me was like a huge awakening for him to just how powerful he could be in the world and how those parts of himself, the, re the rebel, the revolutionary, and the creator could kind of uh, work together to create a vision for a, a society and a culture beyond the one in which we currently live. The last line is a little, it's, it's kind of um, leaves people hanging a little bit, but it, it, I think it's, it's meant to do that, you know, and as bombs continue to fall from beautiful skies, that's the last line, as bombs continue to fall from beautiful skies. And, for me, it's like that's that's constantly on my mind. That that no matter where I'm at, and a lot of times I'm in you know safe places, you know, like America, um, where there's violence and and there's a lot of poverty and a lot of you know um, destruction going on. But it's not as 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 bad as it is in the Middle East, as it is in Syria, as it is you know um, in Gaza. You know, um, at the moment, you know, bombs are falling and they're killing people. They're killing innocent children. And I don't know how, how we continue to operate the way we do and, and forget about these things and act like, like it's, it's so far away because it's, it, it's, it really isn't. It's wrong on, on a lot of levels that, that we don't acknowledge the stuff that's going on. The poem saved my life in numerous ways in, in the sense that it, it gave me a sense of direction and allowed me to, to, to remember like what my purpose is. When I share the poem, it reminds me a lot of times too. Why, why I'm alive, why I'm breathing, why did I wake up this morning, and where do I need to go, where am I trying to go, and what am I trying to do? I finally felt the boiling heat in Belize where my father cut sugar cane like an African slave, restrained by chains, short change dollar amounts because my grandfather, he couldn't count. The tropical breeze brought a brief relief. His Indian skin burning like a Vietnamese monk protesting in Saigon, swallowed by flames, unveiling the truth. Today, I pour gasoline from the oil fields of Iraq onto this blaze of bones I once called home. I protest in peace to combat those who lack the facts. Photograph the past with words. This pen my only weapon. I blast back like John Trudell from the banks of hell. Every time I see Columbus sail, I'm a conscientious objector, a militant messenger, trying to find a way to escape this poverty infested landscape. Deserted on the outskirts by those who gave birth to the American dream, the murderous money schemes that try to kill my culture and fed dead soldiers patriotic garbage. I'm a demonstrator of something greater an obvious target for those who fear change. But I'm not here to win or rearrange borders where my brothers and sisters die daily. I'm a witness streaming a new world into being, seen beyond the surface, one deep breath at a time, as bombs continue to fall from beautiful skies.